Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Moses said to the people, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Bind them at your wrist as a sign, and let them be as a pendant on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your gates. When the Lord, your God, brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you, a land with fine large cities that you did not build, with houses full of goods of all sorts that you did not garner, with cisterns that you did not dig, with vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. And when therefore you eat your fill, take care not to forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, the Lord your God shall you fear, him shall you serve, and by his name shall you swear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love, I love you, Lord, 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 my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love, I love you, Lord, 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 my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed, to David and his posterity 
forever. I love you, Lord, my strength. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him, and said, Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O faithless, and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him. And from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, why could we not drive it out? He said to them, because of your little faith, amen, I say to you, if you have faith the size of the mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O oh, faithless and perverse generation. Words taken from today's Holy Gospel. In our Gospel, we heard a desperate man pleading with our Lord to deliver his son from a demon who had afflicted him for a long time. Our Lord expelled the demon, but not before expressing his disappointment at the lack of faith he encountered. His rebuke was yet another confirmation of how fundamental belief is to the work of his redemption. Time after time, our Lord appealed to a person's faith before acting. He began his ministry with the message, repent and believe in the gospel. When roused from sleep in the back of a storm-tossed boat, he said to his frightened apostles, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? When accosted by a blind man to have pity on him, our Lord first asked, Do you believe that I can do this? He replied that he did, and then our Lord healed him. On another occasion, during a storm at sea, our Lord invited Simon to come to him across the water. And Simon began sinking the moment he turned his attention to the wind and waves. Our Lord again blamed it on his lack of faith. The stream of examples continues in today's gospel. Following the exorcism, when uh, the disciples asked our Lord why they could not expel it, and he replies, because of your little faith. He then presents them with the possibility of an entire mountain being uprooted by the power of even a tiny amount of faith, saying that nothing would be impossible for them. 
as a matter of God's power and willingness, this is certainly true. However, we acknowledge that God's miraculous answers to our prayers will not extend to events that would hinder us from gaining heaven, which would be God's ultimate purpose in granting them. We should realize also that it isn't God's goal that we simply gain heaven, but that we gain it by freely exercising our faith. In other words, by choosing to believe God over anyone else, including our own human discernment. This implies that God will not allow us to be compelled to believe by a miraculous proof which overwhelms. For instance, if God were to actually uproot a mountain and leave it hang in mid-air for all to see and examine, such a display would effectively eliminate the virtue of faith on earth. Why do I say that? Because faith is a belief in things unseen. And by providing overwhelmingly clear, enduring, and irrefutable proof of God's existence and power, any meritorious belief one may have had would be downgraded to mere human perception. Faith would have no role to play in such a demonstration, and thus it would eliminate the primary test by which God evaluates our heavenly suitability. Of course, one must also strive to conform his behavior to his faith to pass this test, but without faith, our good behavior loses much of its motivation. Without the need to exercise our free will to make the choice to believe in God rather than ourselves or another, God's test of our fidelity is removed. This is why he makes relatively limited use of miracles. But when they are used, they are meticulously designed to deliver nothing more than needed relief and a greater faith. Faith is both a gift and a choice. It is a gift in that we cannot possess it without God first giving it to us. It is a choice in that the gift must be activated to be of use. We need to make a decision to believe, to accept it. We must do this in spite of contrary narratives we hear, a lack of understanding the details, and dread of the consequences that may follow. These or other trials will certainly arise because without something to overcome, God would not use it as a test especially for one which promises a reward that is beyond anything we can imagine. Let us pray through our Blessed Mother that our faith in our Lord and his teachings as they come to us through his church would always remain firm. May we resist Satan's traps by remaining in the state of grace, attentiveness, to the Spirit's inclinations, constancy in our duties, and often renewing our faith. Taking comfort in God's bountiful provisions, let us bring our prayers to the Lord. For the church, as the mystical body of Christ, may she grow and prosper in the Lord's saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. For all in leadership positions, may the Lord guide them in using their talents for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. For victims and survivors of human trafficking, may they find hope in God's love and care for them. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For our parishioners, may the Holy Spirit continue to increase our love for the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, especially for Aaron Vukovich, for whom this Mass is offered, may the Lord welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise you for your goodness. Look with favor on the petitions we bring to you today and grant them according to your will and through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Relieve, O Lord, the offerings of our receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, truly right, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Virgin Mary, for he who is mighty has done great things for you.
Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh.